Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Andrea and welcome on my YouTube channel, the Zombie Yoga channel. <laughs> and I guess you know why you're here, you want to do some yoga and today we will do some nice little stretches. I will explain the chair pose, maybe you like it, maybe you don't know, <laughs> maybe you don't know, maybe you don't know, or maybe you don't like it. It's fine, it's fine. We need to do things we don't like as well, because otherwise, you know, <laughs> what would be the point? Um, and then we'll stretch a little bit more for the fallen flamingo. And it's just going to be nice and flowing and a little bit of trying, a little bit of stretching. And then we'll have a nice meditation at the end. So I hope you're ready. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon as well so you won't miss any classes in the future if you have any comment any question ask comment below share like spread the yoga spread the you know love oh torture <laughs> but you know what i mean share smile like and we're going to start up in the air today so please stand up on your mat Let's begin by bringing the feet hips width apart and just ground yourself, really feel your feet pushing into the mat, push all the toes into the mat so you're kind of wrapping the mat and keep the knees soft, okay? So the knees are soft, we're bringing the pelvis under so we'll try to keep the back nice and straight and this will be just a little warm up first. So let's just roll the shoulders backwards a few times. And you can move your head as well. Feel the shoulders, feel the neck. Usually there's a little bit of tension through the neck. So just listen to your body, stretch your body. And then keep the shoulders back and down. Arms are alongside your body. Fingers pointing down. And then just lift the chin up as high as we can. Even higher, lift the chest higher, but keep bringing the pelvis under. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, bring the chin to the chest. So we haven't uh, moved anything else, just the neck. Inhale, lift the chin up. Lift it a little bit higher. And exhale, drop the chin down a little bit low so you can feel the whole spine stretching. Inhale, lift the chin up. And now this time, as you exhale, drop the chin down, roll the shoulders forward and bend the knees a little bit more. Let's come into a very gentle, very, very gentle forward fold. Feel the whole back stretching. And while you're down, just let your arms go, maybe shake those wrists. Move from side to side, feel your legs, feel your upper body stretching. And then slowly stop the movement, push through your feet. As you inhale, slowly come up nice and gentle. Uncurl the back, roll the shoulders, look up. And exhale, chin, shoulders and all the way down. Very good. And again, we'll just stay and gently move from side to side. And slowly stop the movement. Push through your feet. As you inhale, let's come up. And curl the back. This time, lift the arms up high. And as you exhale, lean forward. We're circling the arms down. This time, as you inhale, slide the hands up, just above your knee, straighten the abs. Push the shoulders back, let's straighten the back, table to position, find a nice straight back. And as you exhale, let's slide the hands down, let's lean forward, and let's try this two more times. Inhale, lengthen the spine, straighten the back, flat back. Exhale all the way down. One more to go. 
Inhale, straighten. And exhale all the way down. And this time, as you inhale, let's come all the way up. Lift the arms up, lift the chest. And as you exhale, circle the arms down. And just roll the shoulders, shake your arms, shake your legs. Probably you can feel the legs as well already. And now I would like you to open the feet wider. Toes are still pointing forward. Knees are still slightly bent. We're still bringing the pelvis under. And as you inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Really open the chest, look up. Lift the chin a little bit higher. And as you exhale, bring the chin down. Roll the shoulders forward and we're lowering, oh, we're curling the back, we're coming down. Now this time, try to bring the hands in the line with your feet. If you can't do that, and if you have a block, put the block in the line with your feet, even if it's this way, and just put the hands on your block. Push through your feet as you inhale, slowly come up. Let's lift the arms up, open the chest, and exhale, let's come all the way down. And again, we're trying to bring the hands in the line with your feet. One more. Inhale, straighten up, feel your body, and exhale down. Now, from the hands in the line with your feet, I would like you to move your hands slightly forward. So we're going to straighten the back, okay? If you need to, you can even place your hands on the block or two blocks. So I need the back straight, even if you're slightly leaning forward, I need your back to be straight. Now, I need you to push all the weight to your right hand. And as you inhale, lift the left arm up, open the shoulder, both shoulders, and reach the left arm up. And as you exhale, very slowly bring the arm down and we're changing the head. Inhale, lift the right arm up, we're opening the chest, opening the heart. And exhale, slowly down. Do this again. Inhale, lift. Reach a little bit higher. Exhale, down. Inhale, right. Feel it higher. And exhale down. Now, as you're down, you can lean slightly, so you can bend the elbow slightly. And I would like you to try, just try, maybe uh, bring the right hand closer towards your left foot, left ankle. Maybe you're not holding the ankle. Maybe you're just on the left side, on the left hand and we will place the left hand to our lower back. So maybe you can reach, maybe you're just close to your foot, you can even place the hand up on the block. But from the middle, from the center, try to bring the hand a little bit more to the left. So let's try to look up, don't hurt yourself. If it's too much, stay in the center with the right hand, two breaths. Inhale. Exhale, very good. Inhale. And exhale, very good. Slowly bring the left hand down and we try the, the other side straight away. So maybe you're flexible enough to reach for the right ankle. Maybe you're not there yet and you need a block, it's okay. Once you're ready, just place the right hand to your low back and let's stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, keep the knees soft. And exhale, brilliant. Let's bring the right hand down and let's bring those feet closer and closer together. 
until the feet will be under our hips. As you inhale, very slowly stand up and curl the back. And exhale, relax, shake everything off. This is not the warm up just yet. We need to go from side to side as well. So let's keep the feet hips width apart. Keep the arms alongside your body. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slide the left hand down your left leg. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine and try to look up as well. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. And exhale, change. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, change, lengthen. Inhale up, we'll do three more times. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up. Keep smiling. And the last one, exhale to the right. Beautiful. As you inhale, slowly come back to the center and exhale, roll the shoulders, move your arms, move your legs. Have a little water if you need it, if you want some water. And I had a little request. So today we're going to have a look at the chair pose. Yay! Do we like the chair? Probably not so much. Do we like to sit on the chair? Probably yes. Let me grab a chair. You just stay where you are. You're not having a chair. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little space for my nice beautiful chair. For the new chair. And so, you know, if you sit on the chair, it's nice and comfy, ha, ha, ha. But with the chair pose, we will be keeping the back straight while be leaning slightly forward. And there will be a straight line from your thumb, from your hips, through the shoulders, through the elbows, to your fingertips. So this will be it without the chair. Okay, it's not easy though. Now, many, many people do weird things with their feet and their knees. So I don't really know how, <laughs> but some people kind of end up doing this or end up doing this. <laughs> so that's why it's very important when I tell you stand, nice and tall feet pointing forward and in the chair it's very important so when we will stand the feet toes are gonna point forward so when we bend the knees the knees will follow the feet so if the feet are in the knees will go in if the feet are out it's gonna be out okay so now i need feet under the hips bending and yes it looks quite nice and easy um as you can see Kind of, there's a, uh, it's a parallel line with the floor, but this may be too much for you. Um, so even if you're higher, it's okay. If you're lower, that's fine. But can you see that I'm not arching the back? Because it's just so easy to push your bum back, arch the back. And that's not what I want when I say chair. So chair is strong, okay? So we bring the pelvis under. We're creating a straight line. So I'm kind of nearly sitting, but I'm still not sitting. And enough of me talking. I need you to get on your mat and try it on your own. I'm gonna put my chair away. If you, if you try it with a chair or a sofa, good for okay, you. Okay, show time. 
Feet, hips width apart, toes pointing forward. Preparation is everything. Knees are soft. Very good. First of all, we're going to lean slightly forward, bring the pelvis under, and then bend your knees. Okay, so imagine you're sitting. Yep, so the back is straight. You're leaning slightly forward, trying to kind of imagine that you're sitting down, but don't arch the back. Okay, so you need to be strong. We're leaning slightly forward and then just circle the arms up so the arms are in the line with your ears. Very important. So there's a straight line from your hips through the shoulders to your fingertips. We're gonna stay for five breaths just so we'll have some fun. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Keep everything strong. Bring the pelvis under. Exhale completely. Relax those shoulders. Don't lift them up too high. Inhale, straight line, exhale, remember sometimes less is more, inhale, exhale, try to look forward, try not to look down, so the arms have to go in the line with your ears, inhale, <laughs> exhale, very good, last inhalation here, and the last exhalation here, slowly come up, bring the arms down, straighten the legs. Well done everyone, we did it! Uh, so the, for the last few classes, we're trying to get into this fallen flamingo. Uh, and we're stretching and stretching and it's looking better and better. And we'll stretch a little bit more now again. First of all, what I would like you to do is step forward on your mat, keep the feet hips width apart. And if you're in a class, an instructor will say, bring the feet together. If you want to go for it, I personally wouldn't. I would just leave my feet this way because it's better for everything and my knees especially. Okay, you need to listen to your body. Yoga is here to help us feel better, okay? But if you do it wrong, it can break you. And I have experience with that as well. It wasn't me teaching, but my teacher was teaching me. Not good. Okay, as you inhale, just roll the shoulders back and down. Open your heart, look up. Now, as you exhale, drop the chin down. Roll the shoulders forward, we're leaning forward. So now we're engaging every muscle. We're kind of uh, uh, feeling that we're falling forward. But now I want you to push your hips back. So some people go into forward fold and then lift the toes. Try to push the hips as much back as you can. Obviously don't fall. And then push them forward so the hips will be in the line with your ankles. So let, let's try it again. Push the hips back, 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 back. And then forward. Very good. Now. If you need blocks, grab a block. Well, under one hand, each hand. We have two hands, two blocks. If you have them, if not, books. And we're going to just step the left foot back. And we're just gonna stay here for a moment. And I would like you to push the heel down and lift the heel up a few times. So the hands and the blocks are in the line with the front foot. Don't put them forward. Don't put them back just yet, okay? So all I want you to do is to really push the toes of the right foot down and then we're lifting the heel and we're bringing the heel down a few times. And feel those hips, you're squaring the hips. And if you want to, you can lean forward while doing it. And then I would like you to lift your heel up the back heel and then bend your knee just slightly bend your knee and just notice how does it feel so I can really feel it at the back of the right leg so just feel it we're not gonna lift the foot because our hands are in the wrong position so we're just stretching the back and the leg and then slowly step the left foot forward and we're going to step the right foot back so the same thing we're not overdoing it we're lifting the heel and then we're pushing the heel down a few 
times, okay? So we're stretching the calf, stretching. To be honest, I can feel every muscle in my legs. It's a good stretch, isn't it? Remember the hands, don't put them anywhere else. I need them where they are right now, no cheating. And then you can go a little bit lower if you feel like it. And then slowly lift the heel up, right heel up and stay. Feel those hips, we're squaring the hips, so we're not pushing the hips anywhere else. And then just try to bend the knee, feel the hips, don't lift the foot. Because <laughs> our hands are really in the wrong position for this. So just notice how do you feel. And don't forget to push those toes of the left foot down, 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 engage. And then gently bend the front knee as well. Bring the right knee down, left knee down, open the knees and let's go into a child's pose just for a little moment. Just a little rest. Well done. Take a few deep breaths. Maybe you need some water. Maybe you're fine. Oh. Then stretch a little bit more. So very slowly come up to all four position. I recommend the blocks, they're always good. I have so many of you telling me, oh, I bought these blocks, I bought this strap, I bought this thing and this thing and I'm all geared up for yoga. <laughs> and I'm just so happy. Okay, first of all, listen, listen, listen. I need you to step your left foot in the line with the blocks or the hands, okay? So the legs are forming a square. And when I tell you form the square, there's a reason for it, okay? So I know it may not be the most comfortable, but remember, I always tell you to do the things safely, okay? If you need to adjust, that's perfectly fine. But try to do what I say. So we're pushing the toes down and what we're going to do, we'll slide the blocks in the line with the back knee. Okay. <laughs> or maybe your, your hands are down. If your hands are down, turn the palms so they're facing away. And now I would like you to straighten the front leg. Keep the knee slightly bent. We're leaning forward. We're still trying to push the toes down, but you may have a cramp. Maybe you may need to lift the toes. So the front leg is straighter. Okay. And we're pushing the hips back. So make sure you're not coming here. But you're here. Okay. Now let's stay here for three more breaths. Inhale. I didn't say it's going to be easy, did I? Exhale, it's a very nice stretch for the back. Maybe you're up here with a knee bend, it's okay. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath. Inhale. And exhale, just for a moment, let's come up, move the hips a little bit, we'll come back again. Now did you see, my hips were not in the line with my back knee. Okay, so the hips went even further back. Okay, so make sure you're not shuffling your feet or the knees. I really need you to get into that position. Because now we're going to tuck the toes of the right foot under and we'll lift the knee up. In a moment, not just yet. Okay, look at me first. So we'll go back, toes up. Uh, uh, tuck under and we lift the knee but nothing else will move just this hip and the knee okay I'm not sure if you can see it we'll just do we're just gonna lift the knee and that's it maybe your knee won't go up that's fine that's a good enough stretch for me okay so let's get the left foot is still forward let's get the blocks or the hands where they should be and try to straighten the left leg. 
the toes of the right foot are tucked under. And we're going to push and lift the right knee three times. Nothing else will hit. The hips won't move, just the knee. Ready? Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Try to keep pushing the foot down. Inhale, lift. Obviously, if it's not working, lift the toes. Exhale, down. Very good. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Bend the front knee. Bring the hands forward. Down to all four position. And then if you want to sit down into child's pose, just do what you need to do. And well done. Well done. It's not an easy one. Breathe. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try the other side. The little rest in between is very important, by the way. Don't overestimate the rest and the stretching the other way as well. It's very important. Hands on the blocks, of the blocks, whatever you prefer, and just step the right foot forward. So the, the, the ankle, the knee, the hip, and the knee are forming a square. No cheating. Slide the hands, maybe the blocks, in the line with the back knee and turn the palms back or you can just rest your hands on the blocks. It's okay, just don't fall. And as we push the hips back, we kind of, we're nearly sitting but we're not sitting, okay? So let's push the hips back. You can keep pushing the toes into the mat. If it's too much, I completely understand. Let's stay. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Don't overstretch. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep smiling. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Just for a little moment. Come forward. Move a little bit. It's not an easy one. There's a sound push to sticks. It takes years to, to master them, so don't you worry if it takes you a few weeks, a few months, it's nothing. I'm still working on my handstands for five years, seven years, I don't even know. Okay, let's get into the position. We're going to tuck the toes of the left foot under. And again, we'll be just, you really need to engage the core, okay? That's why we have the core. And we'll just move the knee, nothing else. Okay? Ready? Three tries. Inhale, try to lift the knee. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Come forward. Ooh. Bring the right knee back, move those hips. Whew. I'm boiling now. <laughs> well done. I hope you're feeling nice and warm as well. And let's just lie down to the front just to relax the hips. You can stay up, you can bring the hands, uh, head down to your hands. You can bend your knees, move your feet. Whew. We're smiling, breathing. And just gently bring the feet down to the mat. Keep the feet hips with a pad. Oh, you can keep the hands on top of each other. You can slide the hands under the shoulders. I'll adjust my hair. 
Keep the elbows close to your body. Hug your body with your elbows. And as you inhale, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down. Baby cobra first. The feet are down, not coming up. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down. And again, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, down. Inhale, if you want, you can come higher. I don't mean higher, I more, mean more back. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, baby cobra, or push those shoulders more back. Can you see the shoulders and my wrists? They're not in one line. If yours are, you're doing something very wrong. Exhale, down. Inhale, you're probably not arching the back, so it's doing nothing. And exhale down now. Slide the hands a little bit lower. Push yourself up to all four position. And then just sit up for a moment. Butterfly. Let's get into butterfly position. Just for a little moment. Ooh. Well done. So I hope you feel nice and warm as well. In a butterfly, can you just move so the knees are coming up one side and then the other first. So we're just kind of creating space and try to push your buttocks back. And then stop. Keep the knees open and just move from your waist. So we're stretching. It's a nice side stretch. So you didn't feel this when you were lifting your knees, I bet. So just feel it. And once you come to your left side, just bring the left hand down to the mat. You can even bring the elbow down, but make sure the knee is not coming out. Okay, so no cheating. And then place the right hand to your lower back and open the shoulder. Look up and I hope we're smiling. Take a deep breath in here. Still keeping the knees open. Exhale. You can sit up on the block if you need to. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Open the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Slowly, gently come up. Yay. And then slide the right hand away. Feel the nice stretch. Place the left hand to your lower back. Open the shoulder. Try to look up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. Keep the knees open. Inhale. Exhale. Brilliant. <laughs> Inhale. And this is the last exhalation here. As you inhale, very slowly sit up. And as you exhale, bring those knees together. Hug your knees for a moment. Gently move from side to side. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. The curl in the back. And then slowly stop the movement. And it is time to lie down. So I'm going to grab my blanket and my pillows. So if you need them as well, grab them. When we lie down, I still need your knees bent. Okay, we haven't stopped stretching just yet. Don't get too excited. I need you to open the arms and turn the palms up. And this is our very favorite stretch. Take a deep breath in here. Push the lower back into the mat. And as you exhale, drop your knees to the right and maybe look to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, change. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, change. Inhale, 
Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, change. Very good. Now as you inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, I have one more little stretch for you. I need your left knee close to your chest and hug your knee. And if you want, you can straighten the right leg down. So here you can circle your ankles. You can wriggle your toes. You can move the head from side to side and just feel the nice stretch. So this is very much like a pigeon one-legged pigeon but we're upside down so we're not hurting the knee or your hips and the shoulders are relaxed on the mat take a deep breath in exhale try to relax a little bit more inhale And exhale, release the left knee, bring the foot down. Now bring the right knee close to your chest and maybe this knee will, uh, will feel better. You can straighten the left leg, you don't have to. And again, just move your feet a little bit. Move your head a little bit. So make sure there's no tension in the neck, in the shoulders. long inhalation and breathe all the air out inhale and exhale brilliant release the right knee bring the foot down and now it's your choice you can keep the knees bent or you can slowly Straighten the legs down to the mat into Shavasana. You can bring the arms anywhere you want to as well. And let's relax. Our most favorite pose, the most important pose, and the most difficult pose. Shavasana, the corpse pose. So once your body is comfortable, nothing is hurting, you're in a perfect posture, no pain, no stress, allow your eyes to close gently and just bring your attention to your body, to your muscles and notice how do you feel after today's practice. After today's class, stretches, the postures, and maybe you can feel that your legs are a little bit looser, a little bit more, they may feel a little bit more flexible, you never know. Maybe your shoulders are feeling really good. So just notice how do you feel after what we've done today. It is very important to appreciate how we feel after. So just feel your muscles for a moment. And maybe you need to adjust your posture, it's okay. And maybe some of your muscles are feeling a little bit tired. We've done a lot today. And if there's any tension in your body, breathe into this area. And just feel the tension melting away.
Now forget about those muscles, the joints, the body. The body is softening, relaxing into the mat. And just forget about it for a little moment. For a moment, try to notice your thoughts. And if you come across any thoughts, just try to analyze them. What are they? Are you thinking about future? Anything you need to do after this class? Or tomorrow or next week or next year <laughs> are you thinking about the past what you have done or what would you could have done wrong you know different so just notice what are your thoughts about and if, if there's no thoughts you're amazing if there's no thoughts that's what we need so if you if you think about something, just label the thought, future or the for the past, and then let it go. And if there's no thoughts anymore. That's our little goal, just to empty the mind. Just go through the thoughts, give them a little bit of attention and then send them to the future or the past. Past, we can't change it. We can learn from it, but there's no point thinking about it at this point, at this moment. In the future, well, good luck with the future. <laughs> But at this point, try to be present. Just take a few long, refreshing breaths. your mind seems to expand you feel timeless you feel empty you feel totally relaxed just start to breathe a little bit more deeply feel the air feel your body and then leave in your body feel your body and then start to move your hands move your feet move your head
once you're ready bend your knees there's no rush nice and slow one knee then the other knee try to move those knees from side to side and then roll to one side and push yourself just sit with your eyes still closed and I hope that you feel amazing and stretched and relaxed and ready to continue this day as you inhale slowly circle the arms up feel the energy in your whole body bring your palms together and as you exhale bring the hands of your third eye connect with your intuition bring the hands of your lips connect with the truth and bring the hands of your heart connect with your soul Namaste, 